I am the founder and CEO of RG Adoption Consulting. So are you on a journey to adopt or have you adopted? Tell me in the comments below <clears throat> who you are, where you're from, where you're at in your journey. We had an amazing week filled with matches and babies born and it's awesome. It makes us so happy. I have, so I keep, I'm not gonna show you too long so that you don't see names, but I keep this board of our matches. And if you saw that, it is filled, it's filled. I'm gonna have to get a new board. It's so exciting. I know this week we posted that we had 17 matches. And so it's exciting. It's really exciting. Every time we have a, a team chat and we have a channel called Wins in Slack and it's been blowing up, which is great. I have a lot to talk about today. Cost of adoptions. Let's talk about that. Cost of adoption, cost of consultants. We've been getting that question a lot. If you don't know, every week what I do is compile questions that are coming from our community, our clients, um, and just the adoption world in general out there that we have been seeing. So we tell, <laughs> we have been telling everyone, this is a hard one, to plan between forty-five to fifty-five thousand dollars all in. And I truly believe that for the most part, you can still stay within that range. And I'm mostly talking about private infant adoption through an agency. It's probably the same for international too. Lately, because costs are increasing, cost of hotels, mostly it's the cost of support, supporting expectant moms have gone up, especially in the hotels in Florida. We have been seeing more and more situations in the high 50s and low 60s, which is nuts and crazy and I hate it and I don't agree with it, but that's what we're seeing. And I'm here to just report. So <clears throat> 45 to 55, I might even say 50 to 60. So more or less on either end. The cost of a consultant, that piece of it, that can range. And it, and I know that some consultants offer different programs. We offer our private program and our online academy. So I'd say consultants you're going to see are going to range from 2,500 to 5,500. And so you want to know what that is inclusive of. Do they provide education? What does that look like? Do they provide community stuff or events or extra Zoom calls to get together as a community? Do they... Does is the profile included in that? Do you have unlimited calls or do you have only limited calls? What are the what's their time? Can you call anytime you need or just during business hours? How often do you get to talk to somebody? Do they have a term to their contract? So, and this is with agencies too. Do you only have a year? Do you have two years? And then what happens? So these are all things that you want to know before you can determine is the what am i getting for that cost and is it worth it so if you're paying 5500 and they're including every single thing you need plus unlimited support and uh, you know maybe that's worth it to you versus 2500 where you only get three phone calls in a month i'm making it up because i don't know what each person does also when do they start with you after you have your home study or before you have your home study? What happens after you adopt? Are you kind of done then? Or is there some way to continue getting support? These are all things that I want you to look at when you are considering hiring a consultant. I'm addicted to Arnold Palmer's. And I try so hard not to buy it from the store because there's like a gajillion gajillion grams of sugar. But then you taste it and you're like, ah, oh, this is so good. I love it. So that's what I'm drinking. I should go back to kombucha. So that's the cost of adoption, cost of consultants. If you have questions around there, ask me and I will do my best to answer. Another question about consultants that we've gotten. Do consultants help you with self-matching. A lot of people are on the self-match path. So here's my answer. 
likely if self-matching is the one and only route that you have chosen and that's what you're planning to do, most likely a consultant would not be a good fit for you. But again, ask all the questions. If it's just the education piece that you're wanting or just somebody there to support you, maybe it would be. But I would say if you're coming to me and you're just looking to self-match and not apply to any agencies or not, you just really want to avoid agency fees at all costs, a consultant will not be a good fit for you most likely. Um, however, there is a caveat. If you decide, yes, I want to work with a consultant, I am willing to apply to agencies and I will take a situation however it comes to me, by all means, do whatever you can to self-match while you are working with a consultant or an agency. We don't care how you adopt, where it comes from, if you end up adopting internationally, which we've just had two families match with, whether you end up self-matching, we actually have a woman who's self-matched right now and we have in the past, or whether you match through an agency, one that we've given you and, and kind of talked to you about, or one that you've found on your own. We don't care and we will provide the same amount of support to you no matter how you match. Does that make sense? So we don't care if you end up self-matching, but if that's the only thing you're looking to do, probably it's not worth spending the money on a consultant. Um, but again, for the education piece and just someone there to bounce ideas and somebody who might know a little bit more than you do, maybe a lot more than you do, maybe you want to do that. But a huge part of what we offer is our multi-agency approach. So if, if there's consultants who you can just get the education piece and that kind of support, maybe it is worth it. 